Hey there friends, welcome back to the part 18 of JavaFX tutorial and part 3 uh, for the database connectivity GPA in this section I want to show you how you can update your student data so let's get started uh, and please subscribe to my channel also and like the videos and comment any question you have so uh, this was uh, in the previous episode we work create this episode I want to work with how you can update your data Okay, so I want to create an update button and also an action on um, update. Okay. On update. <coughs> student. Sorry, on update. Student. Okay, so let's save it and also let's make our controller. Yeah, we do need this. Okay, and update. We just copy the code of our grid. Okay. Yeah, just copy, but we need something here. Now I want to so let's let's comment I want to update the selected the selected item okay first I want to update when I select this item uh, the data should be should come here okay and then update the data so how to do that uh, just go to NFXML and choose your table view and here uh, on here on on mouse clicked okay on mouse click uh, on table item select on table item select okay now okay public void an item select I want to make a variable private private student 
st std student okay and then student is equal to table view that get selection model that get selected item there's written an student object okay and uh, student data will come from the table so then we populate our field field name that set text Uh, F student was not null then we populate our field Fill them the set text student dot get name okay student dot get username and student dot get password also fill name the set text fill username the set text and fill password the set text okay <clears throat> that's great so let's uncomment this after this so I want to clear this I want to make a method update student in my student controller and then pass the student okay there's student actually But before passing, I want to I want to set student set name and felt name that get text. Okay, we get the new text from text field for the students okay fault name field username and field password sorry set username and set password okay that's nice so here F update was successful student has been updated uh, updating student has felt okay <clears throat> and then here we set the data okay we set the data and here table view that get selection model that get selected index okay and they see the data okay that's nice so we just need to copy this method and create that inside our controller okay public i want to copy this okay we do it in the previous video and if you want to see how it, it done you can see my previous video 
also we need here an integer std student id okay so let's from here also you need <coughs> to pass student dot get id okay that's great possible loss conversation line to in it okay tell us that is long but this is you need okay now it looks nice so that's great okay but now here is uh, here everything is fell just we need here to create a student here and a student object s is equal to is equal to em dot find this std id we wanna find gonna find and student dot class okay Up. Oh, sorry. Student class and std id. Now that's okay. So after that, after we find the student, we we gonna to update. Then we update its data set name and we get the new data from the student we pass it here okay student that get name okay student get username get password and here set username and set password and instead of Persist. We need to merge it. Okay, that's nice. <clears throat> so let's run our application. So I want to update this. Okay, job one. Now the data is. So I want to delete this. We don't create the department also. I want to delete this also. Now let's run our application again. Yeah, now the table is created. Let's get some student, for example, my name Muhammad, and um, username is Muhammad. As for this, this okay, the student created. I want to get new one, <coughs> Wally. Wally. <coughs> Yeah, that's, that's great also. It's nice. So, yeah, it comes here. Now I want to update the password of value to one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So as you can see, when I select, it comes to the text field. Okay. Now I want to update this one, two, three, four, five. Update. Yes, new student has been updated. As you can see, the new data 
the new password comes here and also in the database now the password is valid oh yes that's updated successfully it's very nice it works very nice very nice okay so thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye